Hi. In recent cryptocurrency news, Kenyan police reportedly raided the Nairobi warehouse of WorldCoin, an identity and cryptocurrency protocol, seizing documents and equipment. Data Commissioner Immaculate Cassate revealed that the parent company, Tools for Humanity, concealed its true intentions during registration. The seized data is now under analysis at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations headquarters. The FBI issued a warning about criminals impersonating NFT developers to defraud users within the NFT community. These scammers either hack into developer social media accounts or create fake ones, promoting new NFT releases with urgency-inducing language. U.S. Democratic senators are urging the Biden administration to disclose efforts to counter North Korea's use of stolen cryptocurrency for its nuclear program. Senators Elizabeth Warren, Tim Kaine, and Chris Van Hollen labeled the regime's crypto dependence as a national security threat. DeFi Protocol Curve Finance is offering a $1.85 million reward to identify an exploiter who failed to return funds. The UK's National Crime Agency is hiring for senior crypto-related investigation roles, while the Hong Kong SFC warned against unlicensed virtual asset trading platforms engaging in improper practices. On the adoption front, Red Cross Singapore has begun accepting cryptocurrency donations, partnering with AAA, a licensed crypto payment gateway, to facilitate conversions and transfers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. Bye.